let's, let's stick with the, uh, the theme of food, shall we? Because this time of year sees lots of changes in our woodlands and forest areas and lots of things fall from trees. Not just leaves, but things that you can cook with, as Rav's about to find out. I'm Rav Wilding. My life on Crime Watch and Cop School is action-packed and wild. So when I'm off duty, there's nothing I like more than taking a nice stroll with a picnic. But what if I was to tell you that cordial, jam, cake, jelly and biscuits can all be made with ingredients found in the countryside? Foraging is the act of searching for food, but could also be described as making good use of nature's larder. And this year has been one of the most successful years for wild fruits. Eating the wrong wild food can be dangerous. You should only try it under expert supervision. So meet Chris Bax, the king of foraging. He's going to show me how to make some tasty sweet treats using ingredients from this woodland. Can anyone do it or do you need sort of specialist skills to do this sort of thing? You've absolutely got to know what you're doing because um, there's poisonous things out there as well as being good things, but you can learn very, very quickly. There's even an app for a smartphone. So what sort of uh, tasty treats could be out in the, the wilderness like this? Well, in autumn, this time of year, uh, we've got berries, we've got nuts, we've got some roots. I've got a few things for you to get today. So how do I know which ones I'm going to get? Use your smartphone. I want you to get dandelion roots. Then there's burdock roots. So I want some roots of that, some berries. So we're going to have rose right. hips and we're going to have hawthorn haws. There's your basket. OK. And there's your spade. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. Gonna do now. First on my list is a dandelion. I've got to find, um, but to make things worse, they've apparently got no flowers because it's autumn. So I'm looking for a green stick in a very large green field. Uh, but my app is telling me it says the word is uh, originally from Dent de Lion, which is lion tooth, because of the shape of the leaves. So hopefully that's going to be my clue as to finding the dandelion in this field. Close, but I don't think it's the one. Really hard to tell without the, the actual flower on it, because that's the most distinctive part that I remember. I think we're in luck here. And that's one. See the leaf? Looks like teeth there. I think I found my dandelion. Right, let's dig this up. My first dandelion root. I'm looking for rose hips, and I remember these from school because they make a good itching powder. These little guys here, definitely rose hips. Okay, hawthorns. This is definitely them. They're a lot smaller than rose hips, and they grow on a completely different type of tree, but this is them, so let's grab a few of these little guys. And this, this is a young burdock plant. It's going to have a great big root down the bottom, and that's the bit I need to find. And that's the root of my burdock plant. These are wood havens, which uh, apparently smell a bit like cloves. I get a very delicate root, so I can't really use the shovel because I'll probably break it. Yeah, we got it. There we go. Right. I've got all my um, tasty ingredients. Now it's off to the kitchen. First things first, we wash the rose hips and hawthorn haws. So I've just got a massive pestle and mortar, so if you can whack them in there. What are these squashed up rose hips going to become? Well, we're going to use this as the flavouring and we're going to make a pulp out of it and then set them into a jelly to make jelly mice. Well, we'll get your hand in there. Okay, shall we? Uh, rose hip jelly mice. First time for everything, eh? Brilliant. So we've got most of that out. OK, so we'll put this to one side. Yep. And then we've got the hawthorn haws. And what's this one going to be? This is going to make a fruit leather. Oh. For those in there. We add a few ingredients from the store cupboard, apples and water. We've got our dandelion roots, our burdock roots, and our um, woodhaven's roots there. If you can chop those as fine as you possibly can. They're going to make a dandelion and burdock drink. While I'm chopping the roots, Chris puts the berries for the mice and leather onto stew for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's the burdock. These ones here. Those are your dandelion roots. 
than the, the Woodhaven's roots, the really thin ones. They've yeah. got that clovey flavour. Yeah. So all that into that pan. Pop the lid on and we'll go over to the stove. Okay. See how the other things are doing as well. Well, it definitely looks more like food now, and it definitely smells more like appetising food now. It's starting to smell fruity, isn't it? Mm. You get those fruit flavours. So you see that now, we've all got lovely pulp yeah. in there. That, all Everything's gone down. A great colour as well, that lovely pinky colour. What we need to do now is get all this into there, right. and then we're going to press it through, so all the pulp's going to come through, and all the little seeds and the skin and everything that we don't want is going to stay inside, OK? We do this with both sets of berries before adding some runny honey, lemon juice and glycerine to set the jelly mice. The rose hips are poured into the moulds and left to set. The hawthorn haws are spread thinly, ready for baking. Which just leaves us to sieve the dandelion and burdock cordial. On today's foraged menu, rose hip jellied mice, hawthorn fruit leathers and dandelion and burdock cordial. So I've just diluted the cordial with a bit of uh, lemonade. And these are the roots that these I dug up myself. They are, yeah. That's actually really nice. So this squished up. You just pop it in just like you would a chew, you know, just like a piece of, a piece of licorice or something. Mmm. So I have the yeah. The mouse bottom. Oh, we have the mouse bottom. Have the mouse head. And we just chuck it all in. Yeah, just so, just like you'd have a jelly, jelly sweet. Again, really, really nice. And don't worry, guys. Make sure we save some of this and get it to you in the studio.